Hello there friends and welcome back to our little house on the mountain. Today we are going to be making one of my favorite DIY products which is magnesium lotion. And the reason that I love this is because it's soothing and it's so good for so many things. It can help or may or may not. I can't make claims on YouTube uh, but it may or may not assist you with insomnia, restless leg issues, pregnancy, nausea. It can help with aches and pains, muscle cramping, headaches. There's so many things that it's good for. And magnesium lotion can also potentially sometimes be helpful for growing pains. I know I had shin splints and all of that when I was growing when I was younger, and this can be helpful for children, for helping them settle down at night. I really enjoy using my magnesium lotion in the evening after a warm bath when your pores are open, rub it on your feet or your legs or wherever you want to. So I wanted to give you the rundown on my magnesium lotion process because if you've looked around the store these days, the really good magnesium lotion with the excellent ingredients is a little bit pricey and you can make this so easily right in your own home in your own kitchen and you can get yourself some of the bulk ingredients store those well in the pantry and whenever you need magnesium lotion you can whip yourself up a batch and that way you will be saving money now just so you know i will also have a blog post attached to this video that gives you the written rundown of how to make this the links will be in the description box and pinned in the comments below all of the links will to all of the products, types of products that you can use. When I search for products to share with you, I try to look for things that have the highest reviews for the best bang for your buck. So I try to lay the groundwork there and share with you things that I think will be helpful. Hey buddy, I just gotta do this video then we'll have lunch, okay? No, you're banging that with your tail. You're banging it, you're banging it. Um, what was I talking about? Now you've probably heard of magnesium spray, which is something that you can use as well, and it's just pretty simple. It's mixing your magnesium flakes into warm water, letting them become a liquid, putting them in a spray bottle, and you can spray it on. But the reason I prefer uh, this magnesium lotion to magnesium spray is that the spray can cause an itchy, tingly, burny sensation on the skin. It's just not very comfortable, especially right before bed. You get the healing benefits of the magnesium and you get the added benefits, uh, the skin soothing and nourishing benefits of the other ingredients. So you're accomplishing two things at once. You're nourishing your skin and you're getting the benefits of the magnesium. So here's what you're going to need to make your very own magnesium lotion. You're going to need a glass container to store your magnesium lotion in. I'm going to be making a double batch today because I'm going to be making one for myself for my side of the bed and one for my husband. But you can certainly just make one batch. You could make a triple batch and you could give these as a gift. It would make a lovely Mother's Day gift. Nice for a new mom or someone who is newly pregnant or just someone that you like and <laughs> you want to be nice to. So you can, you can double this batch, you can split it. I'm going to be making a double batch today, but the recipe that I'm gonna have for you below and on the blog will be for one batch. So you have your storage containers with a lid and this lotion, I would say conservatively could last like two to three months because the magnesium chloride in your magnesium flakes acts similar to salt as a preservative. So I don't add any extra preservative into this. Of course, if you're worried about it going bad or molding, you could always store it in your fridge. But I just store this by the side of my bed. It's probably not gonna even last two to three months. I will probably use it all before then. So you're also going to need the celebrity of the event, which is your magnesium flakes. A lot of people will use Ancient Minerals brand, which is a great brand, uh, but this is a little more budget friendly. It's the Now brand. I'm sure there are other good brands. This is just more in the budget. And I haven't found much of a difference. I've used both, and this has worked for me just swell. So I have this one. Again, all the links will be for you on the blog and in the description below. 
you are also going to need some hot water, hot enough, not boiling, but hot enough to melt your magnesium flakes. You are going to need either a double boiler. This is my beautiful double boiler that I found on Facebook Marketplace. And let me tell you, it was very exciting. It belonged to somebody's grandma. They didn't know what to do with it. They were basically giving, giving it away. I saw the copper, I saw the brass, I was in, all in. But if you don't have a double, double boiler, and I do recommend if you wanna make a lot of homemade products to go find one, you can find them at thrift stores, beautiful ones, antique stores, Facebook Marketplace, if you don't wanna get one new, I do recommend getting one. However, you can just use a base pot and then put a smaller pot or a very heat safe, stove safe, all the safes bowl into that one that kind of fits like a nice little cozy nest and you can create your own double boiler, use something very heat safe like a Pyrex uh, dish and you can sit that in your other pot. Basically the idea is with a double boiler is you are putting your water in the bottom part and you're going to boil your water down there and then you're putting your ingredients that you want to melt together in the top part so that your ingredients aren't sitting directly on the heat. One, so you don't burn anything and two, so you don't lose a lot of those really good properties. So we got that covered. Then you're going to need some beeswax. I always have beeswax around because it basically goes in all homemade products, whether you're making yourself lip balm, body balm, salves, body butters, all the rest of it, you typically need yourself some beeswax. You are going to need an oil or a fat of your choice. This is where you can make decisions and get creative. You can use olive oil, avocado oil. You can use tallow. If you have really sensitive skin and you're dealing with skin issues, you can use tallow. You can use coconut oil. So that is completely up to you. You want to use some sort of a fat in your lotion. Then you're going to need a butter, either cocoa butter or shea butter. So I have some shea butter here. And that is what I'm going to be using today. Mm, it smells so good, so good. But that is, that is again a personal preference. Lastly, and this is completely optional, you can put essential oils in if you like such things. You don't have to, it's optional. I am going to use vanilla and frankincense. You could use lavender if you're using it for sleep reasons. Bergamot is a really nice one to put in this. I've, I've used that before and I really enjoyed that. But I think I'm gonna go with the vanilla and frankincense. My husband likes the smell of vanilla and frankincense is really nice for the skin. So I'm gonna use roughly 10 drops of each of those. That's it, don't get overwhelmed. I know sometimes when we start doing things ourselves, DIY can get a little overwhelming, but there's no need to get overwhelmed. We're just gonna go step by step and it's gonna be a-okay. The first thing you need is just your hot water. Again, not boiling, just hot enough so that we can melt our magnesium flakes into our water. I am going to get the right amount of water in my Pyrex cup here put the right amount of my magnesium flakes, which is equal parts. So however much water you use, depending on what size batch you wanna make, if you wanna make just a personal size, you do half a cup of the hot water, half a cup of the magnesium flakes. You wanna make a double batch, one cup of the hot water, one cup of the magnesium flakes, so on and so forth. So it's really simple in that way. I'm gonna go get myself some warmer water and then I will dump the equal part of the magnesium flakes in there, give it a stir, and we will let that set aside and dissolve into our magnesium water while we are doing the next part. So I will be right back without spilling it all over the place, which I've been known to do. It's happened on more than one occasion. So we're gonna try to get it here in one shot. So before my water cools off, And give that a stir. So while that is finished melting, I'm gonna take my double boiler. 
I'm gonna put a couple inches of water in the bottom part. So if you're just using stacked pots or a pot with a safe bowl inside, you're gonna put a couple inches of water in the bottom. You're gonna boil that water in the bottom pot and then you're gonna set the top part in it and the top part is where we're gonna be putting our ingredients. And remember, we need the three things, the fat, the butter, and the beeswax. I'm gonna level with you. I'm not a fantastically precise measurer and my chicken is laying an egg. So <laughs> there's that. I am putting in my fat of choice right now a girl's gonna lay an egg when a girl's gonna lay an egg. What can I say? And then I'm gonna add in my beeswax. So my my point is I've never been 100% precise and it's always turned out great. So I'm just never gonna be one of those people that is br breaking out the scale and all that, you know, I can admit it. But these things always have a way of, of working out. So there's my beeswax, and since I'm doing a double batch, I'm going to put about six tablespoons of my shea butter in here. I did about six tablespoons of the beeswax, and I did about half a cup of my fat of choice. That, again, is a double batch from just a single portion that you would use for yourself for a month or two. You can get the shea or cocoa butter in little discs, which makes it easier to measure. I just have a block, so I'm going to do my best just scraping this off and getting the closest measurements that I can. Being a good boy, bud. Just a couple more minutes, okay? You're being good. And every project needs a supervisor, of course. So here's mine. He works 24-7. Uh, it's pretty good pay, pretty good benefits. As for a hard day's work of watching me, which I know is a full-time job. Just for being cute. We are almost done. Everything has blended together in my double boiler pot. It's a nice liquidy mixture. And basically all I'm gonna do now is slowly pour my dissolved magnesium into the mixture of the fat, the butter, and the beeswax. And as I do that, I'm going to blend it with my emulsion blender right here. Just keep in mind that anything that beeswax touches, it's gonna take a little extra effort to, to really clean off all of that residue. So you just wanna keep that in mind when you're choosing your blending of choice. And of course, if you wanna go old school, sis, you can do it. You can blend and whisk this together, whisk your little heart out. And you can, and you will accomplish the same goal. It will take longer, but you will accomplish the goal. And I almost forgot to mention before I start to pour, I am going to add in my essential oils. So again, this is completely optional and depending on how much scent you like, will determine how much of the oils you're going to add in. And I am adding that into the butter, fat, beeswax mixture. Okay, so I just poured my magnesium water into my other ingredients that melted nicely in my double boiler. And after I poured everything together, I mixed it with my emulsion blender. Again, you could blend it any way you feel comfortable. So you can see it's got that lotiony body butter feel. You could wrap these really cute, put a piece of ribbon, put a piece of pretty fabric over your top and give this as a gift with a little name tag and a nice note. So this is an excellent product to have in the house and a lovely gift to give to others. I am going to use a funnel because I spill things. You might be perfect, but I, I have been known to spill a few things. So, oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at this. If you're going to be using this on your children and you don't want to deal with them getting any of this on the sheets or in the bed 
it's great to put it on their feet. It's a spot that's typically not too sensitive. The bottom of the feet is a great place to put things anyway, and you can just put a pair of socks that you don't mind getting some of the lotion on and tuck them into their little beds and send them off to sleep. And let me tell you, sis, if you can do this, there are so many DIY home body products that you can make. So if you've been feeling intimidated, this is your sign that you can do it. No weird sticky residue, no burning, no tingling, nice moisturized skin, and all the benefits of the magnesium. And friends, that is it. You did it. Again, the blog post will be linked below. All of the things that you would possibly need for this will be linked below and also linked on the blog. We so appreciate you using our links. It is a blessing to us. I thank you for going and visiting our website. I have a lot of new things at the Cozy Corner Mercantile Store at our website. Please go check it out. I also have a course coming up that I will be launching on there soon. Thank you to our patrons on Patreon. Friends, we appreciate you. I love you. I hope you enjoy this. And I hope this was helpful. Lord willing, I will see all of you beautiful people right here on the next one. Bye, friends.